boat is different but almost every boat the engine should be checked for water and oil pretty often check the oil from this little cabinet on the side over here but uh, that works pretty good so just checking the motor mounts checking for um, anything that looks untoward and seeing if there's any liquids down in the yeah. bottom of the bilge and there's not you can see she needs a little polishing there and stuff so this is usually always pretty good oh that's low i was gonna say that looks like it's about halfway down yeah that's not good yeah good thing we checked well when i get back i think i'll change it all and put new new antifreeze and stuff in The more important thing is, is where to go. And that should never be low. So that's going to tell me maybe later. Maybe I need to do a little bit more inspecting. I may be having a leak, but there's no water down there. I need to jump in the ocean for a few minutes before we get out of here. I got this weird vibe going in my head. I don't know what it is. There's more oil than there should be in there. Yeah, it looked like it was past the yeah it's supposed past to be the line. Yeah, and um, that's sometimes a sign that there's water in the fuel, but there isn't. And, but we have water missing uh, from here. That's what I was exactly thinking: is that some of the water from there could have gotten into the oil? If it did, there's some pretty major problem going on with the engine because the water and the oil uh, still uh, stay totally uh, separate. But I know that that's not the case. You know how? Because the last time I checked the oil, the oil was high. I don't remember it being quite as high when I filled the oil, but maybe I made a mistake. And this is where a log book comes in handy. The guy's got to keep a log. Um, if you keep a good log, you'll make notes and remember things. And I haven't been doing that on this boat because it's more of a play boat than a Voyager. So anyway, um, I know that there's not water in the oil because the last time I ran it, it was about the same. And if there was water in it, it would be foam right now. I so, see. So we're in good shape. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. Although, I have to obviously try to find out what happened to that. The San Lorenzo Channel right here. And this point right here is open to the open sea. If there's going to be yellowtail and stuff, I believe that on this point or that point or that point, we should be able to pick them up. We're not going to go around to that point. It's too far. I'm not allowed to anchor in there anymore. That used to be my favorite place. We would be there tonight if it wasn't for that. It's one of the most beautiful beaches in all of the Baja, like this is. And But the, when I say beautiful beaches in the Baja, dude, there's probably... 40 on this level <laughs> that I know of so one of the most beautiful <laughs> so anyway um, when we go up here there's this you can see the resolution that I have is a little bit different than yours um, by here San Gabriel I want to go in here and come right in here and anchor up in about 10 12 feet right we're very exposed here and it's not a good place to spend the night, but you should be able to do some fishing right along here. This is a dive spot thing indicated there, and that this point here. And uh, I don't know what that guy's doing there. Punta Dispensa. There's a, there's a big reef system over here. You gotta really watch it. So, you know, if you wanna fish for the day, we can do that. Then I'm gonna go up to these three bays right here. And this one is Whale whale Key, where I was telling you I'm going to anchor off of the cliff here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a badass beach in here where I 
I spent a year 2000 Y2K thingy and uh, it's a very short distance half a mile to get to East Lagayo from there but there's good fishing here and here so you don't even have to go that far if you don't want to but if you wanted to uh, you know play with the dinghy you can get lots of gas on board you can go fish this island too and I almost don't need to fish with you all the time because the dinghy's too slow so maybe I'll take the kayak out and do some kayak fishing it's just cool or, or I can I can it's take the cold. kayak and you can go you know I'll take the kayak and you can go on the dinghy yeah either way we can split yeah. it out a little bit so here's the thing what day is today Thursday Friday Friday already. Friday 11th yeah wow it's the 11th on Friday so we're gonna go up here Friday and then Saturday we, we got to go in here I'm sorry to say we're gonna have to go into Isla Partida or into Ensenada Grande Partida is the best and and that's because there's gonna be big wind we're just gonna have to hide from it for two days and the winds coming from the north yeah so that's why you're on those sides yeah 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 and uh, this is a really nice spot fishermen live here if you get good weather you take the dinghy out and you go to the other side and you start uh, fishing down here and stuff and there's caves down here and uh, it's really cool you know kind of a thing so anyway we're gonna have to spend the time in here and this is where we may or may not um, do a lot of fishing depending on things but I wanted to show you the resolution of my chart compared to yours it's really huge good morning good morning good morning your buddy Mikey here SC fish and sifts and we're making our way out of Belandra where we spent the last uh, two days last night and we're gonna make our way out to uh, Spiritu out to the islands out here so I just put out the cedar plug on this one right here I'm gonna put the nomad out on the runkle over there and yeah, I'm gonna troll hard this morning see if we can get some some stuff going here we go that's cool. I can meet if they go where we're going. I'll meet them in North Harbor, friends. So thanks to Gail, everybody knows him. He's such a blog, you know. motor sailing through the San Lorenzo channel leaving Belandra and heading out to Espiritu <laughs> incredible just the dream but before we get into today's video make sure you hit that subscribe smash that like show love and support for the channel thank you all for the love and support with the channel Let's get it. Hopefully we get a hookup here. You got the cedar plug on this one and the Nomad DTX Minnow 140 on this one. Bonaparte Seagull. Bonaparte Seagull. Well, there they go. I don't know if we need to troll around in circles anymore. A snagger of uh, stuff. Yep, I got a snag. You see, I got seaweed too. Dang.
Do you think we'll be able to fish it? I think we should get the dinghy out and we'll see what happens. Okay. This is at the top side of those ledges where it's coming up. Well, look at it. It's between here and there is where it is. Yeah. Yeah, between that point and that point. Want to get the anchor locker ready? Yep. First spot here we're going to anchor. Check the gas. You need to fill some up. Needs a funnel. Thank you. Here we go. Time to go fish the point. Got some cut, frozen cut uh, squid from Pedro at Baja Ranchero's fishing fleet. I got my Runkle with the iron on it to drop down with chunks of squid. I got my game clip, I got my knife. Should be good to go, we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fish this reef over here. We'll do a little stand up riders. Stand up riders! Is that some yellowtail snapper right there? I'm checking out, you can see the fish all in the water and you can see the reef. I'm gonna get on the edge of it. Wow, this is incredible. See a Cortella's angels. Looks like there's some bigger fish here. Bunch of fish on this reef. See if it's the right kind. Scoping it out, trying to figure out where I want to drop. Looks like the reef comes out here further. Same thing here. Ooh. We're gonna get a chunk of squid here. We're gonna put it on the iron. Okay. Drop that runkle. Go deeper. No love on this reef here. I'm gonna switch up to the crocodile and I'm gonna troll over to that reef over there. See what we can make happen. Do a cast here first. Fishing this cliff side, this boat's here. Looks like a nice steep, deep reef. All right, the struggle is real. At this point here, I'm gonna make my journey down there. Next point we're giving it a try here. And we'll have to go back. Boat's over there.
What do we got? Sculpin! Nice! Woo! Chunky, chunky, chunky sculpin on that cold sniper SKG! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! I think that might be my PB sculpin. Yes. Some locals. And so this is gonna be one of my last drifts here on this point at Espiritu Island. That's where we're at now. And I'm so stoked I got my sculpt in. He's dangling in the water. See if I can pick up one more. We'll do one more drift. That's the rig. S SK jig uh, 40 grams with some squid on it. I'm stoked with the sculpin. Here he is. We got him on the stringer right now. He's still, he was still kicking a little bit. Just a few. Yeah, we're getting the sculpin on the Sea of Cortez with that Runkle spinner. Loving life. Get back to the boat, cook it up. Catch cook keen here in La Paz, the Spirit 2 Island. Isla Spirit 2. Stand up, riders. ceviche and tacos with them we'll give dave the update here there he is swimming off the back end of the boat let him know that we got dinner we're eating good tonight got him got a nice fat chunky sculpin we're gonna be eating good tonight yeah i'm stoked all right that's really good. We can do tacos, ceviche. We can do tacos grilled, tacos fried, ceviche, both. Okay, so here's our sculpin from the Sea of Cortez here. Do the poisonous darts. Yep, poisonous on his back, so you gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna make a cut behind the, yeah. like I was saying, behind the collar. Yep. And then I, I do a cut at the tail. Then I go uh, down the bottom, and then from the top, I can kind of peel, peel it back.
rinse it off. I'm gonna try a little sculpin cheek meat sashimi. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice looking fish. Nice job, Mikey. Thank you. I love the way I'm. Oh, how they gonna go? That's it, that's all. line back there yeah 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 right on that direction it spouted two times two of them awesome yeah <laughs> the whales in the house wreck sailboat right here entry level sailboat <laughs> yeah, right but that's the point where all the magic happened with the sculpin right there and then we're gonna be heading out further All the cool sandstone here on Espiritu Santo. Reminds me of Zion in Utah. Coming into a full moon, that's the best time to fish like three days before the full moon. Marker right here. That was an old shipwreck they said? From a shipwreck. It's like how they mark it in San Diego. Looks like there's a campground there. Not a campground, it's sort of a tourist there's, thing. It looks like there's tents. It's a kayak trip. See what people are doing now. Is they keep a kayaking group from like Loretto and they'll kayak all the way down to La Paz. And they got all this ponder support and stuff like that. And they go to the next place and then they're on. That's what I wanted to do with the solo skip. Yeah. You should do it. Yeah, that's, that's my plan. I was thinking in March or April. And so Isa, I mean Raza is where we want to go. Yeah, Raza is the furthest north. Yeah, why not? We got about half an hour. And then they have the other section about the island itself. Yeah, we can read that. making the approach Ensenada de la Raza and then we got Isla Gallena here Isla Galleno there Isla Espiritu Santo back there and we're gonna be anchoring up over here for the night be making that sculpin for dinner just an absolute beauty paradise living the dream <laughs> If you haven't already, please remember to smash that subscribe button, pound that like button, show love and support for the channel. Thank you for all the love and support on the channel. We're doing it, living the dream each and every day. This is paradise. This is the dream. This is what it's all about. So stoked right now. 
Got the scalp in to cook up for dinner. We're gonna do some tacos on the barbecue, on the grill. Woo. It'll be 30 feet, and then it's just gonna get shallower. Yeah. yeah, but that whole zone, like you're saying, that's all. We Good should see 30, 33 feet at the lowest. All right, gotta get the anchor ready to anchor up here. Dang, those look like some big splashes off the point over there. Bigger fish. This whole cliff side should be good for fishing. We're gonna anchor up, get this area all to ourselves. It's pretty badass in here, isn't it? I was just gonna say, in another bay, all there ourselves. Okay, anchoring up. Oh, gotta bring in the cedar plug. this kayak in your way here we go time for some afternoon adventures now I'm gonna get some fishing in off the kayak Dave's gonna do some exploring on the dinghy safety first <laughs> there he goes stand up rider <laughs> the legend himself <laughs> all right let's go I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier. Drop that SK jig on these cliff sides up here. The chunks of squid, see what we can make happen on the kayak now. Here we go, afternoon adventure is golden hour. While I paddle down to the point, I'm gonna go ahead and troll the crocodile. Trolling hard that sunset troll on the kayak now. We're coming to this, this is the furthest out I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is incredible. Whew. Everywhere I look is so beautiful. There's the boils over there.
Where are those boils? I think I'm gonna start casting the rocks. Let it drift me. Look at this. Cloud nine. Got him. Yeah. Baby Cabrilla on that croc. Yes. The crocodile spoon doing work. Got it casting it into the rocks. Let's get another one. I knew this was Cabrilla's own. Swallowed it deep. Small, but I'll take it. This is just Cabrillo's own here against these rocks. Let it sink and a nice steady retrieve. But don't let it sink that much. Just like so. There she goes. Sun is going down. That's it, that's all. Just got the wine cabria on the crocodile spoon. Sunset session right here. We're gonna fillet him up and put him on his fish tacos too with the sculpin. Life is good. Let's get back to the boat. There you have it. Another sunset here in Baja Sur, Espiritu Santo Island, uh, Ensenada de la Raza. There's Wiley, just an epic day. Got the sculpin this morning or this afternoon, just a little ways down. And then I got the Cabrilla here at sunset on the crocodile. Both of them came on the runkle and then the sun's going down. I'm gonna make some fish tacos tonight for dinner. Life doesn't get much better than this. Thank you all for following along on my adventures, on my journeys. I'm so blessed, I'm so lucky. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you universe, thank you world, thank you everybody. Wow, just incredible. There she goes. See you later. Another day down. Let's go. Dinner time. I'm feeling fine. Time to get this bad boy filleted up. Same thing as the sculpin. Play. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> How was your exploration? Here we go, time for that catch, clean, cook. We got the sculpin and the cabrilla. We're here on the Sea of Cortez. The sun just went down. We're gonna make some fish tacos, grilled fish tacos. So I'm gonna get my slaw going first. I got mayonnaise, vinegar, uh, some celery salt, salt, pepper, maybe a little tahini, and I might throw some sour cream in there too. I already got my guac made up. Avocado, tomato, green onion, lime, salt, pepper, garlic, jalapeno. And then I got the fillets right here ready to go. We're gonna put them on the grill on the barbecue. We'll put some olive oil and then some of this 
habanero mango seasoning. And we're looking good. Let's get it going. So I'm gonna get the slaw mixed up first. Sour cream. Mix it up. Let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. Next up, we're gonna prepare some of these fillets right here. The olive oil and the mango habanero. Mango habanero. Next up, take them to the grill. I'm gonna put them flesh side down. Five minutes aside. All right, we'll do another five minutes. Okay, final result. There's the cash clean cook. You got the sculpin taco, got the cabrilla taco. Some slaw, some guacamole, some limes, and we're good to eat. Enjoy it here at Baja Wiley. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Life is good.